What happens now? Sweden receives many children who have fled from war, conflicts or other problems in their home countries and who come here to seek protection, just like you. Many children and youths who apply for asylum live in a children's home. Others live with families, just like you. If it works well, you can live here while you wait for an answer to your asylum application. It could be a family you know, perhaps your relatives, or a family you have never met before. Hello. You should be able to feel safe where you live. You will get food, a bed, and clothes from the family you live with. You will go to school while you are here. You will also see a doctor or a nurse who will check whether you need any help to feel well. If you are thinking about things you have experienced, if you are missing or worried about your family or friends, you can talk to the family you live with or with another adult who can give you help and support. In the future, you will meet several different people who can help you. Social services make sure children in Sweden are well treated. You will get a caseworker who will find out what you need. You may need help to feel better, to enjoy your free time, get support in school or anything else. The caseworker writes down what you need and who is to help you with what. If you do not like it where you live, tell your caseworker so that you can get help to make it better. The caseworker will keep in touch with you to make sure things work out as planned. Every person under 18 years is a child. Children whose parents are not in Sweden have a legal guardian. Your legal guardian will help you with different things, such as going to meetings at your school and looking after your money. Your legal guardian decides on matters you are too young to decide for yourself. You always have the right to say what you think. The older you get, the more you can take part in deciding. This does not mean you will always get your way, but the adults will listen to what you think and then decide what is best for you. You will also have a public council. This is a person who knows about Swedish law and helps you with your asylum application. The Swedish Migration Agency decides whether you can stay in Sweden or if you have to go back. The Migration Agency follows laws and regulations. You will have the opportunity to tell the Migration Agency why you came to Sweden. Your legal guardian and your public counsel will be with you. You may have one or several meetings at the Migration Agency. An interpreter will also be present at these meetings. The interpreter speaks both your language and Swedish. The interpreter may not tell anyone else what you are talking about. It is important that you tell them why you have come to Sweden, what you have experienced and why you cannot go back. The person working at the migration agency will write down what you say. You will then go through what is written down with your public counsel and your legal guardian. If something is wrong, it is important to tell the migration agency about this. It can take time to get an answer to an asylum application. Once you have been to the migration agency, you might be waiting for an answer every day. Remember to use your time here well. What you learn here can be useful in the future, even if you cannot stay in Sweden. Some children will get the answer that they can stay from the migration agency, while others are told they must go back. Some children have been in another country in Europe before Sweden, or have close family ties there. Then the child may have to go back to that country. When you have received an answer to your application, you will have a meeting at the migration agency. Your legal guardian will also be there. If you get a no to your asylum application, your legal guardian and your public counsel can help you appeal. This means a court will check whether the migration agency is right. If you still get a no, the migration agency will help you with your travel back and make sure someone meets you when you arrive. If you get a yes to your asylum application, you can stay in Sweden. If it works well, you can continue living with a family until you are ready to live somewhere else. You are sure to have many questions in the future. 
Remember that you can talk to your legal guardian, your caseworker, your public counsel, or the family you live with. You may ask for help from an interpreter if you need this.